stones. Kidney stones is on the rise right now, guys. It is on the rise. It is no longer what you used to think that it is very rare. It is more rare. Almost everyone you know, if you ask them, they are suffering from kidney stones. I'm a renal nurse, so I know this, okay? Please, you need to be very careful. This is because we are neglecting the things that we think are healthy. The things that we think are very healthy and normal are the things that actually causes these kidney stones. That is why it has become rampant. Now, this is an awareness video. If you're if you anywhere you are, please listen attentively and share this video because these are the things that people think are normal. And actually, they are normal, but they are causing kidney stones for people. So you need to be aware. If you're having kidney stones and you're finding it difficult to pass, um, you know, the, the kidney stones, I'm also going to make a video on tips. In fact, it's going to be right now, or you can watch it on my YouTube page. So be careful. You need to know about these kidney stones. And the pain is excruciating, guys. The pain of kidney stones, most people um, equate it to the pain of labor. Childbirth pain, you can imagine. It's a pain that you cannot wish to your enemies. Trust me. Now, let's get to causes of kidney stones. Now, number one, if stop consuming red meat, causes and also prevention, stop consuming red meat, guys. If you're consuming red, red meat, this is normal. People think it's normal, but it, it, it increases your chances of having kidney stones. Meat, reduce it to the barest minimum. Fish is better. Number two, taking beverages or coke, Coca-Cola um, products or cola products, I beg your pardon. Most people take Coke every single day of their life. You are on your ticket to kidney stones. Now, most people eat, because instead of taking water, of course, they, they take beverages around. Now, when you take that beverage, the saturated for water is gone. At the end of the day, you see that you can't even take up to two liters of water. And the minimum amount of water you should take to prevent kidney stone and to stay hydrated is 2.5 to 3 liters. So you're taking one liter in a day, your urine is consecrated. Now, these cola products or beverages, they go concentrate your urine and then produce uric acid, you know, urate and urics, you know, get formed. This can form kidney stones and you're in trouble. So if you're taking cola products, if you're taking beverages instead of water, I am begging you, share this video. You have cousins, you have people that do this. This is a very bad habit. Most people are getting down with kidney stones because of this. And you don't want to experience the pain, trust me. Now, the third thing is vitamin C. Yes, vitamin C is very good, no doubt. But vitamin C has been actually um, associated with kidney stones. Yes, this is because, especially if you don't drink enough water. Now, if you're taking vitamin C as a supplement, which I do, instead of taking three liters of water, take more. Yes, because this has also been associated with formation of stones. If you don't take a lot of water and if you don't, if you take more than 1000 milligram per day, Myself, I advise you because I take um, vitamin C. I don't know how to take fruit. That's why I take it. Take it every other day. You shouldn't take it all every day. For people that are taking it as a supplement, this video is for you. Please, you can take it every other day. Like if you take today, you won't take tomorrow and next tomorrow. You take the other day. At least this will help with your immune system. Instead of taking it every day and you won't take a lot of water. Now, number four, consumption of salt, excess salt. Guys, I keep telling you. The amount of recommended um, daily salt you're supposed to take in a day. One um, teaspoon, please, one teaspoon or less. If you're consuming a lot of salt, this will affect your kidneys and it can cause kidney stones for you. Also, um, sugar, if you're uh, um, taking a lot of sugar, fructose, please, you really need to reduce, okay? This can increase your chances of having kidney stones. Now, STI, sexual transmitted infection. Oh, goodness. If you're currently recurrent, you are always having STI, please make sure you treat them and find out why you are having your current sexual transmitted infection because they will increase your chances of having kidney stones and make sure you treat them very well. If STI is recurring, you can go watch the video where I made on how to treat infection, whether it is any kind of infection. So that they don't come back again that video is important it's on my youtube page as well okay make sure you save yourself the stress of always treating infection in prevention is better now there are some illnesses that can you know 
increase your chances of kidney um, stone, other illnesses um, re related to kidney stones, um, to kidney itself, right? So another thing that increases your chances of having kidney stones is not drinking enough water. I know you obviously know this, but this is very important. You need to take at least three liters of water every day for you to be free of this, okay? Please take a lot of water. It will really, really, really help you prevent kidney stone. Instead of taking beverages, instead of taking alcohol, instead of taking all of those things, water is preferable. It helps your kidneys. It helps your heart. It helps your skin, okay? Especially if you're also taking supplements and if you're also on drugs. Please, medications, if you're on medication, take lots of water, okay? Now, another cause in also in combination with the red meat I mentioned about is high protein food like um, eggs, SSX, um, seafood, crabs and all of those things. Yeah, because they contain a lot of salt too. Okay, everything should be in moderation. Please reduce this. This will help you a lot. Now, other things are... Um, some medications too, like apart from the vitamin C I mentioned made of um, some diuretics drugs that your um, doctor's giving you. These drugs make you urinate a lot. So as you're urinating, you, you, you might forget to take water and dehydration can lead to kidney stones. Now, very important factor, exercise. Guys, exercise. When you exercise, body is sweating, right? The water you have is going out. So you don't even know. Most of the times we'll we, we get carried away, okay? We are sweating, we forget to drink water. This process can make you have kidney stones. So very important as you're working out, make sure you hydrate, whether you are thirsty or not. As long as you're sweating, please make sure you drink a lot of water okay now reduce the way you take caffeine reduce the way you take um energy drinks red bull and sort of those things okay if you're taking them instead of taking them take water if you must take them take water also okay please stick to three to four liters of water every day this will really help you as long once you notice that your urine is becoming um you know concentrated okay it's supposed to your urine is supposed to be like a beer color beer color once it's becoming concentrated know that you are dehydrated and this is not good for your kidneys kidney stones can occur because we eat lots of these things that I'm, I'm, i made mention of on a daily basis so to help avert this thing drink copious fluids okay most importantly water now another way to prevent kidney stones is this, um, some medication i mentioned about i just remembered very important there are some antibiotics right this is why you need to be careful while taking antibiotics take them when they are prescribed remember drink a lot of water when you're taking medication there are some anti-epileptic drugs right um i've mentioned diuretic and vitamin c now very important factor is if you have a history of kidney stones in your family, one or two people around you or your family has suffered from kidney stones, there's possibility of this, except you're very careful. Drink lots of water, go for tests, and be careful with your lifestyle. Now, obesity too can increase your chances of having kidney stones. So, reduce sed stop sedentary lifestyle, be active, and drink lots of water. Drinking lots of water is my motto, actually. Okay, so guys, um, so that this video will not be long in my next video i'm going to be talking about those that have kidney stones and how to manage this like this video share follow for more subscribe like and let me know if you have more questions have a nice day and god bless you